Also, your public service announcement reminder. I'm so excited for what's in this box. You chewed this. Why they know who I am, I literally have no idea. Speed round, here's what we got at Kroger. My robot dude got stuck on something. Oh, here he is. <laughs> we usually have to pick up this rug in the kitchen because he gets stuck on it, but looks like Griffin forgot to do that before he left for work. <laughs> he gets stuck because when Freya was a puppy, yeah, you did this, you chewed this. She ripped up our rug, but you can't really tell when it's like laying on the ground. So we've never replaced it. But little dude here gets wrapped up in this little piece and then gets stuck. So yeah, we have to pick her up. Yes, you want this? You gotta go to your bed? Good girl. Yeah, you get a little calm. Pick. Good girl. But good morning and welcome to today's vlog. Happy Tuesday, I think it is. I'm filming another video today for Frey's channel. So this morning when I came out to my car, there was literally snow on my car. Yeah, so <laughs> Frey is sitting at home. I gave her that little peanut butter Kong because we need to go grocery shopping real quick. But on my way back from Freya's appointment, I grabbed this coffee from Einstein's. I also got a bagel, of course, but the coffee was a cold brew. It was like their salted caramel cold brew or something like that, or maybe it was just a caramel cold brew. And it's honestly really good. Even Griffin tried it and was like, Still kind of tastes like coffee, but isn't crappy. And Griffin doesn't like coffee. Big fan, honestly. I need to hit up a Kroger or a Giant Eagle kind of thing first, but I also need to go to Target to get some things that I can only get at Target, specifically my Nespresso pods. I don't even know where I'm going. I think it's this one. I am useless without a GPS, quite honestly. I saw this TikTok, this guy was like making fun of himself. He goes, I can't even get from my bedroom to the bathroom without a GPS. And I've never related to anything more than that. I literally sent it to Griffin and he just looks at me because he also agrees and he thinks it's ridiculous that I never know where I'm going. Hi there, can I please do a quarter pounder with cheese meal? And can I get that with no onion, a medium fry, and a medium caramel iced coffee? Thank you. Um, can I get extra caramel in the iced coffee? And then that'll be it. It'll be 9.38. Thank you. It's, it's like hailing. I really don't understand where this came from. I also hate pulling up to the window without my card ready. I hate being that bitch. Hi there. Also, your public service announcement reminder to turn off your windshield wipers when you go through the drive-thru. You don't need them, and all you do is spray the people in the windows. I'm between windows right now, so you can use them. But then when you pull out, turn them off. I thought that was common sense, but it is not. Thank you. Shout out to this girl making my iced coffee because I asked for extra caramel, and I saw her do pumps, walk over to the iced coffee thing, and then she goes back to put more caramel in there. My queen. And she stirred it. Mm. Yes, thank you. And in case you're wondering, you're like, Marissa, you're about to go to the grocery store. Why did you stop to get fast food? And that's because I'm starving. And I know that if I go grocery shopping, starving, it's gonna be bad. I'm gonna get literally everything that I don't need. I know myself. So I just wanted to grab food before I go grocery shopping. And yes, this is my second coffee of the day. And honestly, if I'm doing like iced coffees, which this was a cold brew from Einstein's, I'm not really sure how much like caffeine is in theirs. But if I'm doing like iced coffees and stuff, they're not that caffeinated for me, which is why I typically do like lattes and stuff like I need espresso um, and if not then I could drink like three iced coffees a day versus my like one latte oh my god I want this girl to make my iced coffee every time this is so good when I say extra caramel she knows what I mean and now I'm gonna eat my lunch in the Kroger parking lot before I go inside and go grocery shopping Right now, everybody's vlogs for Coachella are out right now, and that's really all that I can watch. However, I, to be honest, don't really care about Coachella. Like, it's not something that I really wanna watch. I like seeing people's pictures, kind of, but also it's pretty repetitive. It's just not my thing. Are you shocked that this is the first thing I grab? Me neither. I finally found it, y'all. Yeah, some rice flavor. I've been looking everywhere to try this. I feel like Griffin would love this because it's a bike, simply because of that. But this might be something really cool to use for like coffee syrups to tear them, you know? I don't know, kind of like it. I need this, but I want to see what the purple one is. Mm. You're coming home with me. Not 
the everything but the bagel earrings. There's little like coffee earrings. I've been on the hunt for like a dainty little silver hoop because my nose ring is silver and I like wearing silver earrings every day. But I'm getting tired of the studs that I wear every day. So I kind of want to find something a little more exciting, but not too big for like everyday wear, you know? But I feel like the cutest hoops come in like gold. There's not that many cute silver ones. Like the tiniest of little gold hoops. So cute. Or like these little tiny ones. I like these but I just wanted in silver. Unsuccessful, couldn't find any that I really, really liked, but I cannot leave that tote bag, so I'm most definitely getting that. And now I'm actually headed to what I came here for, Nespresso pods. I don't know how Target does this. They do it every time. These ones are my favorite, blonde shots, but I always also get just like a regular. And I always see if they got new syrup flavors, but they do have the Tarani caramel sauce. So I'm gonna get this because I'm almost out of it anyways. And I have the Ghirardelli, which is good, but I wanna try that. Speed round, here's what we got at Kroger. Deodorant, another deodorant. Dry shampoo, pizza, eggs, popcorn, ramen noodles, chicken with rice, chicken noodle, bread, margarita mix, Parmesan cheese, Greek yogurt, heavy whipping cream, the best pretzels you could ever buy, some chips, bananas, a whole bunch of lean cuisine frozen meals, laundry detergent, orange juice, milk, kitty litter, and last but not least, something that I've been looking for for ages, which is the Ilani New Addison Ray flavor. Since it's come out, like I don't even remember when it came out, it's been so long now, I've just never found it anywhere and I always look for it whenever I get them. I love Alani News, so I wanted to get this to try the new flavor. However, I have had two coffees today. We will not be trying this today. I'll try this in the next vlog, but I got a six pack because I don't know. I feel like it can't be bad, right? I just went all in. <laughs> But that is our grocery haul. I'm gonna put this all away because I stopped at the mailbox on my way home and I have a ton of packages. So we're also gonna do another fun haul because there are some really exciting things that I've been dying to open in there. And I'd much rather show you guys that stuff than my groceries that you guys have seen a million times. So let me put this away and then we'll get onto the fun haul. I almost forgot about my Target stuff because I literally left it in the car because I put it in my trunk and the rest of the groceries in my back seat. So as I was putting everything away, I'm like, what where's my Nespresso pods? I had to go back out to the car to get it. So we have, which I'm sure you guys already saw everything. But just to recap, I got some Tarani caramel sauce. One, this does not have to be refrigerated. And I think that's what's making my other sauce so hard to use is because it's supposed to be refrigerated, but then it's too hard and I can't really use it. Blonde shots, regular shots, and the cutest tote bag ever. Like I could not leave this at Target without getting it. Isn't it cute, folks? It's adorable. It seems like very well made and like heavy duty. It has this little like button clasp in it to kind of like keep it all together. It's lined because of course, otherwise things would fall out like through the tiny holes. So it is lined. There's two pockets right on the inside of the lining. There's a zipper pocket on the other side that is actually pretty big. I'm obsessed. Like, this is so cute. And I love the, the size of it. I think it's the perfect little like arm bag. I think this at farmer's markets is gonna be so cute. I'm excited. However, it was was a little pricey. Like I was dumb and didn't look at the price tag before I checked out. And if I would have, I probably would have second guessed it. Not to say I wouldn't have bought it cause it's still really cute, but it was 35 bucks for me is really expensive, but it does seem like it's really good quality. I like the lining, the little like braided handles, like, ugh. I couldn't say no and I will put this to use. So it will be worth it. <laughs> I'm really excited about this haul because there's a lot of different things in here and I don't really know where to start. Oh, hello. She's been dying to get into this one because I think she knows it's for her. It does have paw print wrapping paper. It is for you, but we're gonna open it later, okay? I'm gonna save this for Freya's channel. So if you wanna know what's inside here, you gotta go check out her channel. But I will tell you the story behind it because it's adorable. But someone came through my drive-thru. Excuse me, you gotta do this right here. Get my light. But someone came through my drive-thru and dropped that off for her at work. The cutest thing ever. This first one is from no other than Liquid IV. Why they know who I am, I literally have no idea. But this is kind of like my first unboxing from like PR stuff, if that makes sense. Like obviously I haul a lot, but that's stuff that I buy. I'm pretty sure everything in here, yeah, is like a little... I think there's one thing in here that I bought actually. I don't know, but I don't know, this is so weird. I see Liquid IV, they sponsor all like the big YouTubers. They especially sponsored like Alicia and Remy for Coachella. 
So again, why they know who I am, I literally have no idea. But let's see what we got here. We have the Energy Multiplier Supercharged Energy Drink Mix. I also have their Hydration Multiplier. This one is in Strawberry. And then another Hydration Multiplier in Guava. If you've tried any of these, let me know. And then I got a Hydration Multiplier in Acai Berry. What's the difference between this one and this one? I don't know, but I do want to try it because y'all literally said that it has been like really, really good. I have no idea what's in this one. <gasps> oh, oh my gosh, I'm so excited for this. So this is actually something for Kitty. You guys are gonna die. It's a mushroom, but this is like a little scratching post for her. Oh, and it has little mushroom charms. I'm obsessed. This is so cute, oh my gosh. Uh, let's do a small one. As you can see from this wrapping, the company Happy and Polly, which I have seen all over TikTok, they make really, really cute cat stuff and they wanted to send me some stuff for Kitty. You know, Freya always gets her brand deals and fun stuff, but like this is Kitty's first like thing that people want to send her kind of thing. I don't know, I think it's cute, freaking adorable. And I have seen them a bunch, like I said, on TikTok and people have their stuff and they've said really good things about them. So I was like, sure, like I'd love to try your stuff out. And that's where the mushroom is from and then that's where this is from obviously it's in this little like wrapping this is high but it's like a little mat that your animals can lay on but it's like shaped like a leaf or something i think it's adorable like when i saw it on the website i was like yes i gotta have it but I was thinking like, yes, this is for, you know, Kitty, but Freya could also use this because Kitty likes her little cat beds. I don't know if she'd lay in the mat, but I'm still really excited for it. Oh my, oh, this is huge. Look at this. Look at that. That's adorable. This color's really cute. But yeah, it's like shaped like a little leaf. So it kind of looks like a rug, but it's like a little mat. I'm excited. It'll probably live here because I have the like orange pillow that sits on the futon. And I feel like that'll match really well. I want to open this one because I think this is something that I have been waiting on and I'm so excited for it. And I think this is the one that I ordered myself. It is. Oh my gosh. You guys are going to lose it. Oh my gosh. It's a box within a box. I'm so excited for what's in this box. Are y'all ready for this? <gasps> oh, I ordered some roller skates and I got them from Impala. Oh my gosh, this box is so cute. Look at this. This box is gorgeous. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited to see this. Now let me tell you why, because y'all are probably like, Marissa, why? Like, why did you do this? Mainly because when I was younger, I used to go to the roller skating rink every single week in like middle school. And that's where I hung out with all my friends and I loved going to the skating rink. Just has nostalgia, you know? And I'm just living on roller skating TikTok. Like I love seeing people do it and doing like the fun dances with it. And I just want to be that. I want to just skate around, you know? I just want to have fun. And a coworker of mine at Starbucks has skates and she was like, I'm going to skate to work once it starts to get warmer, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, that'd be so much fun because we live near each other. And so I asked her where she got her skates from. She said Impala and that's why I ordered from them. Oh my God, they're so pretty. I got these ombre like rainbow. I literally have never been so excited in my entire life. But I just, I just want to live my best life like roller skating. I contemplated because I'm usually really big on my outfit matching. And so even like with bike stuff, like I have to buy everything that matches. And so I was really scared to get these because they're colorful. And there was a pair of like black sparkly ones that I was like, you know, I should get those that would match anything that I wear. But I was like, no, like I want the bright colorful ones. Like these are so fun. And they're probably, yeah, like not going to match everything. But they're cute. And I'm in love. Oh my gosh. And then I also got the skate strap with it so that way I could like carry them. I don't really know how it works but I know it just kind of like goes through this section in between the wheels or whatever so that way I can carry them like over my shoulder or whatever. I don't know but I just thought I would add it on because it was cheap. <sighs> I'm so excited. I will of course vlog whenever I try this for the first time because I know I'm going to bust my ass mainly because as I said I skated a bunch when I was younger. However I did inlines because they're so much easier. I could never really do quads but I always see the little roller skating baddies on TikTok wearing quads and so I was like I would love to get quads because that's where I know that I would want to end up so I might as well like learn how to skate on these I can it's gonna be really rocky I'm definitely not gonna say I'm going to be awesome at this especially in the beginning but I will learn I will have a great time and I'm so excited but this is the main package that I was like dying to open and then everything else just came around the same time 
I'm so excited. This most definitely will be a thing. I will vlog it. It's gonna be interesting. <gasps> oh yes. Okay, so this one, this is for you, little miss. This is basically like a little monitor so I can watch Freya whenever we're not home. It's like a pet care, baby monitor, whatever you want it to be, obviously. It's just a security camera, essentially. But a lot of people use this one as like a little doggy cam kind of thing. It's on Amazon. Read all the reviews and stuff like that. So I'm excited to get this set up because we don't currently have anything to like watch Freya while we're gone. But we have been leaving Freya home alone again outside of her crate and everything. So I really want to get this set up and like see what she does while we're not here kind of thing. Excited about this one. And then the last box is the biggest box and it's heavy so I'm actually not gonna open it mainly because you will see what it is on the front of it and I'm really excited it's another thing for kitty that I will set up and show you guys in a future vlog it's just yeah it's heavy and I don't want to unbox it because it's a bunch of pieces I have to build this but it is a little like cat bed cat house thing but if you can tell it's shaped like a TV like she crawls inside the TV and lays down inside the TV I thought this was so freaking cute this is also from happy and Polly and I'm excited to set it up and like let her sit inside of a TV. I don't know. I just think the like little retro look is adorable with like the leaf, the mushroom, the skates, <laughs> the whole, the whole thing. I'm just so excited about all this stuff, mainly about my skates. This one, I'm so excited. because it smells really good, huh? But this is our dinner. Yum. Chef. Mm. <laughs> I think it's really good. Yeah. Interesting. We usually have like, this is like more Indian-ish yeah. or that side of the world. I'm a fan. I'd give it like a six or a seven. I think it's not the best thing I've ever tasted, but like I'd eat it again. I'd agree. Dinner was delicious, but the old grandma that I am, I have to open tomorrow. So I'm gonna end today's vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I had fun with this one. I know that y'all like just like the day in the life, the mundane kind of things. So I enjoyed this as well. Today's notable quotable comes from Vicky Cran off of YouTube. And they said that they came across this quote during a true crime documentary and it has stuck with them, helps them when they're feeling overwhelmed. And the quote is, I suppose that it is human condition to feel so big, so important, but just a flicker in the universe and the struggle to come to terms with those two truths. Getting real deep, leaving us on a deep note, Vicky. I love it. If you guys want to be the next notable quotable shout out, all you have to do is leave me a comment down below of your favorite quote, song, lyric, whatever motivates you, inspires you, keeps you going with hashtag notable quotable. That way I can find it. And I can shout you guys out at the end of the next video. I love you guys so much more than you'll ever know and I will see you in the next video.